This is one of the most adorable thing I've seen and also one of the most heartbreaking thing I've seen so far at the same time on the internet today. So it's about this endless groom who just recently married this beautiful bride. Endless handsome groom. Sorry, I repeated myself again. Let me repeat myself again. Sorry. Endless handsome groom. Marry this uh, beautiful bride. And of course, the people are having mixed reaction to it. Like, who will be the provider? Of course, you already know who will be the provider. The man lost his arm during work hours. So this guy went to job. This guy went to work. And uh, it's a factory work. And unfortunately, there was an incident. And his arm got cut off beyond repair so it wasn't his fault he wasn't born endless he was born with everything intact full-grown man who was just also in yeah? but unfortunately an incident happened and he lost his arm well thank god he was already in a relationship with this girl and this girl knows his capability and capacity and what he has done and what he could still do so it's left for the girl the girl decided to marry the guy so now we already know it's going to be extremely difficult it's going to be difficult it's not going to be easy let us get that straight it's not going to be easy at all for the woman the man himself it's not going to be easy for him at all because being a man and not able to provide, not able to provide or even not able to wear your own pants, not even like provide for others, but providing for yourself. You cannot even provide, you cannot look after yourself. More of looking after a wife and looking after your kids. So it will be extremely difficult because when I saw this video, I keep having some mixed thoughts about it, you know, thinking about the whole situation, how they are going to survive through this. Honestly, I do not know. It's left for them to work things out because when I start thinking, eh, I don't think there's any possibility of working anything out. The only person that can ever make it work out is the woman. The woman will provide financial support we also provide some emotional support. The woman will work while the man will have to stay at home. Not what he chooses, but just the mere looking at the situation. That's exactly how it's going to be. If it was in a really nice country like USA or another Western country, even some African countries, it can register as a handicap. It can register in a government scheme that provides for people with special needs. But unfortunately, this matter happened in Lagos, Nigeria. The government has not been able to provide us first. <laughs> Nobody cannot, cannot be able to provide for a newborn baby. Talk more of adults with special needs. You know, it's a really, really difficult situation in a really difficult country. So the man, we have to do more of the emotional support. The man, we have to man up, do more of the emotional support. And the woman, we have to do more of the physical support. The physical and financial stability of the family. And except if there is a kind of uh, money already made that they can open a, a, a open a, a an office or open something 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 in this economy because just imagine just imagine your hands are cut off just imagine just imagine you rent that handicap not even here not even up to this place up here here if it was here then something can still be done. You can still work with this. You can still wear your, your, your pants with this. If it was here, but here, come on, man. 
that is uh, the highest degree of being handicapped. So I wonder how they are going to manage the situation. I wonder. I keep looking at it. I keep looking at it. I keep just imag imagining. I hope that woman is a strong woman. Really, really strong woman because huh, you really have a long way to go. An uh, absolute long way to go. This is not a bad sexual. This is not a bad sexuality at all because the man is fully, thank God, the, the incident did, didn't happen to his St. Jack Thomas, so the man is fully okay when it comes to that. He's just handicapped. Mm. So the woman just have to be patient. Well, they've already talked about it. I believe they've already talked about it. They've already uh, uh, like addressed the ways they're going to live together peacefully. But no matter how they have addressed the way, situations will still happen. Quarrel will still come up about being handicapped. Disrespect will still come up. You know we're in Africa. We're in Africa. In Africa, with men, be some that have this this attachment to respect, <laughs> respect, and you know, handicapped people, they are so agitated. Any little thing, they feel like you are insulting them because they are handicapped or they are people with special needs. You know, it will be extremely difficult for both of them, but God will make it easy for them, most especially the woman. God will make it easy for her and that man. That man should better be practicing on how to make use of her leg. So make use of his leg. Make use of his leg on how to come on because that man is, is I don't I, I don't know how he's gonna do it because he would he just start having kids. How will the woman sustain taking care of the kids? Take care of the kids. And also provide it at the same time. This man's only job will be just emotional and sexual support. That is just the two jobs this man will ever have. Oh God, may God not allow us to be in this kind of situation. Well, God knows best. And uh, I know they are going to try as much as possible to work it out. But I know in my heart, it will be extremely, extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. I don't see a way I can imagine it. But I hope them, I wish them the best. And I hope things go well with them. God continue to bless them and flourish them so that it will make their journey together will be very, 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 very easy. And even surprise all of us that I thought it would be difficult for them. So that being said, Christ Embassy, one of their branch was on fire. And I don't know if they have uh, tried to control the fire. But uh, according to the news, they said fire at Christ Embassy's Embassy Oregon, Lagos, Embassy Headquarters in Lagos. This is not a small fire, this is a heavy one. So I don't know how they are going to try. I don't know why these buildings do not have, at least, it should be mandatory. A building in, in a, a commercial building, hmm? be it hospital box, should have at least first aid when it comes to fire. By fire institution, a very heavy one, big one with ladders to climb to any floor, and also water connection in every floor, so that at least that will serve as first aid before the arrival of uh, firefighters, I think. Somebody said that you will be surprised that no single Bible will be burnt in that church. <laughs> I laugh. I laugh. <laughs> there is no single prayer that can quench it because this is man-made. And God has already provided man with the ability to quench fire themselves. This is not a spiritual fire. This is a physical fire that involves physicality for you to quench it. So it doesn't involve, it doesn't need spirituality. So I do not think God will involve himself here. 
because God has already given us the ability. I'm not saying it, it cannot do anything, but I'm just saying that God has already equipped us with the wisdom and ability to put off this fire. Hmm? To put off this fire. So, it's all good though. Thank you guys for watching the boy again. I'm sleeping. Catch you next time. Peace.